Well, hello there, chums and I, Captain Stephen XO, and we've got a base to visit in the NMSA hub by King the First. So here we go. Let's go put in the code. So here we go. Right, traveller detected. Fracture. Repair. Engaged. A warm, dull ache spreads across my mind as I approach the portal. I blink as I try to focus, but all this doesn't does is inflame the red glow behind my eyes. Whatever do I do here? I should do quickly. Activate portal. I'm not going to do it quickly. I take my time with this stuff. It's a freaking fine art. We want a double eagle. Double eagle. We want ourselves a reflection or the tiki face. There we go. And a rocket. Though. Where the heck's the rocket? There's the rocket. There we go. And we want a sunset or jala first. There we go. Wigwam or TP. An eclipse. Where are you, eclipse? There's the eclipse. A lovely jubbly. And we want ourselves a waypoint. There we go, waypoint. And we want a boat or ship. A beetle. There we go, John Lennon. And then we want ourselves a whale. Followed by a tiki face or reflection. That's it. That's the code done. And hopefully we can now head on over to the base in question. Sweet. Activator Mondo. And uh, let's leg it into this big swirling blue ball of death. Let's go. It does look that way, doesn't it? Okay, well, Sweet. I have arrived in the actual system. It is called Lovely <laughs> by King of VI the First. So he's also the base builder of this system. Um, wow. Well, this is quite cool. Look how yellow this is. Is this, is this a lush planet? Pleasant, sporadic, nice star bulb. Yeah, it's a lush world with yellow grass. What a beautiful find. This is awesome. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, well, let's head over to King VI first to base. So let's go over here. I think VI in Roman numerals. Is that is that five? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even going to guess. Right, so let's do what I just did. But yeah, it's probably the wrong one. But anyway, let's uh, let's go on up and let's go and have a look. I'll just call him King the first because the VI bit I'm not too sure about. So here we go. And, uh, and VI also stands for venereal infection, which I'm fairly sure that's not what he's going for. So let's uh, head over here. Let's go over there. It's locking onto the freaking comms ball rather than his base, which has just scuppered up my pulse activity. Right, let's try that again. Let's see if we can get there super quick. Go on, lock onto the base. Damn you. Damn it! It's not doing it now. Right, okay, I'm just going to have to fly there conventionally and slowly. But it doesn't really matter. We're almost there. We're almost there. I wonder what that comms ball is a marker for, though. That's interesting. Uh, sometimes people put them on, like, crashed um, ships and things, don't they? So we can always go check that out. I think... Was King the first part of the Trident community? I can't remember. But let's go set on down here. If it's got a Trident there, then he is. If not, it might not be. Who knows? Let's go and have a look, see? Right, so let's uh, land here and take a look at what we have. So uh, it's still rendering, still rendering. We will hopefully be able to give you a decent look around this in a second. Caution, anomalous operation. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Oh, look at these giant pterodactylians. They're cool. Wow. That is a cool beast. Nice. It's been already discovered by King the First. But that is a cool majestic beastie. If I did ever see one. That's so cool. Let's just pop into camera mode. Let's spin this around. Let's put the sun in the sky. And it has got a trident here. So I was right. He is part of the trident build. So I think there's like three, three or four of them. And they, they build out bases. And they usually use the sign of the trident. It reminds me a lot of Ulysses 31. Because they had the trident in that. Oh, look at this. This is quite cool. It looks like a little crane. And he's used like um, decals. It's like, oh, I'm liking that. That is so cool. It looks like little pulleys going up and down. That is so awesome. I love that. That is so cool. It's the little things. It's the little things, people. Attention to detail, stuff, stuff like that. I wonder if I can actually go inside of this facility. So, oh, he's got all these little glitches down here as well. This is lovely. I like this. I like this a lot. It's got like a little panel there. It looks like a power door. So it's some sort of switcheroonies down there and a teleporter. So let's let's go into the teleporter. Let's see where it takes us. Kaboom. So am I down where I think I was going to appear? Yes, I think I am. There's a lot of... And look at the glitches, how they move. Oh, uh, what? What did that say? Oh, lose death. What the fudge? Have, have I just doomed myself? Coming to these bases sometimes can be a bit, 
yeah, I can't go in there. There is a comms room in there. And what else? Let's go into camera mode. Let's see if I can get in there in camera mode. So we've got, like, the weapons base there. And we've got a little doorway here, which I should be able to go through. This is where I thought I'd come out, just here. Okay, there's a power door there. I don't know whether I can get round there from where I am now. I could be actually stuck underneath the base. But there is a teleporter to get back from where I just came. So I'm going to have to go that way. I don't know what that comms ball said, but it was quite alarming. Gra, lose, pass again, death. Okay, um, that teleporter is no longer on. So I have to use this one. So boom, I'm up here now. What the fudge? He's glitched in a couple of um, teleporters there. Usually you're limited to one per base. He's got a fair few going on there. Righty-ho. Well, this is unusual because this just looks like one room that I am now stuck in. Where if I go back into the teleporter, it's going to get me back again. Okay. Now, he did send me a message as a little bit of a heads up, which I forgot and now I can't get back in there. Right. Okay. Well, I... Th let's jump in there. Let's, let's see what the way this takes me again. I think it's just going to take me back to where I just came from. You know what? I, I can't work this out. So I'm just going to use the base teleporter to get me the heck out of here. So we go. Let's just jump to a random base. Nope, I can't because of portal interference. I'm stuck. I'm freaking stuck, so I'm going to do a reload now. So let's go over to options and let's reload. I am not overly a fan of bases that use switches and traps. Okay, right, chums, well I'm back and um, I'm going to jump back through the portal and I've got another person's base that I wish to feature as well. So that's King VI, the first base. If you want to come here and see if you can work this thing out, there's the actual coordinates in the bottom left-hand corner. But you can see there what happened to me. So yeah, just word of caution and I don't know what you might get as a reward from solving that as a puzzle, but it's an interesting base. I love the cages on the back, the little hoists and things and the attention to details. And there probably is some sort of reward in there, I guess, for whoever solves it. But um, that's sadly not going to be me. I, I read back on the actual comment and I don't... I don't... Well, hello, chums. I haven't gone back through the portal as yet, but on my discoveries page, this, we're still on Lovely, which is a, it is a lovely planet with that yellow grass. And yep, so it is in NMSA. Lovely. <laughs> my King the First. What an awesome name. Yeah, I think it's the only planet in the system as well. What a lovely find. The perfect name. Perfect five uh, name there. King V, I the first. You're freaking awesome. So yeah, you sir, you're going to get an air grab for your base, even though I couldn't fathom it out. It freaking blew my mind. Uh, yep, yeah, you're going to get an air grab as well. So there you go. Sorry if I didn't give it the spotlight it deserved, but as you could see, I got pretty stuck. And um, yeah, I haven't I, I, I couldn't work it out. Anyway, let's go. Hello, chums. Right, well, I was going to go and visit um, the, the inside Vortex base, but um, I don't think it's inside the NMSA hub. No, it wasn't. It was a, a different system altogether. So here we go. I'm only featuring bases that are inside the 905 NMSA hub. So here we go. Let's uh, fire up the uh, portal here. Now we're going to go to Kevlar Twinkies base. So let's go and have a look at Gido Kevlar Twinkie. I love that name. Heck yes, an indestructible tink Twinkie. Right, so activate portal. There we go. And uh, right, we want a double eagle. Double eagle. Followed by a beetle. Beetle, followed by Dragonly Fly, Dragonly Fly, and a sunset. And then we're, what we want is a tree. Somebody actually called this a Jesus in my um, in my comments, which made me sort of chuckle. And then we've got like a um, uh, eclipse, and a waypoint, and a uh, black hole, and another beetle. Sweet. And we've got ourselves a whale. Lovely. And a ticky face. That seems fairly similar to the previous code, apart from the old tree. Okay, so let's get jump in here and let's go and have a quick look see. Well, I suppose all the hub codes are going to be relatively similar. When I was looking at inside Vortex code, I was like, hmm, this code doesn't look like a hub code. And I was right, it wasn't a hub code. But hopefully, I will be featuring inside Vortex's base once he's built something. Because we have seen him join a couple of my live iterations, so it could be interesting. And the bases that he did share with me were quite nice as farms, so hopefully he's going to bring one to the hub and I'll feature that. So let's go. Hexagonia, ah, Omega. 
Jekka Wafa system discovered by Kevlar Twinkie. So this is by the NMSA hub. So let's um let's go and have a look at the base. So where is the base marker? Okay, well I'm not seeing a base marker. So maybe Kevlar Twinkie hasn't actually uploaded the base, but we'll we go up and we'll have oh there it is. I can see it now, it's over there. I was getting worried for a second there, Kevlar Twinkie. Right, so let's um head on over and let's have a look see if uh, the base is there so let's go let's go let's go hopefully it is hopefully it is and we'll have a look see there we go let's lock on kevlar twinkie i'm heading towards your base now sir and here we go so yeah actually i sorry to assume your gender now yeah, i'm just going by what's in my head and kevlar twinkie does sort of sort of put up the image of male for some reason in my head and let's head on down and let's see what we've got Sweet. Okay, it's nestled amongst quite a large anomaly. How the heck has he done that? I just saw a tube coming out of one of these giant anomalies. Normally, when I try to build near to or into one of these anomalies, it doesn't actually let me. But um, it looks like you've managed to do it. Or uh, that's what I saw when I was flying in. I saw an airborne base. Now I don't. What the fudge? Oh, okay. That is so weird. Okay, so here we go. We're going into here. This is strange upon strange. What the fudge? Should there be something here? Am I seeing this right? Let me just go into camera mode. That is really strange. I don't know what's going on there. I think I'm going to have to give this a little bit more time to render because something doesn't seem to be right with that. So um, I'll see you guys in a sec when I've tried to work out what the fudge is going on. Oh, here we go. It's rendering in. There we go. It has now appeared. Because if I would have walked out of there, I would have just fell to my doom, probably, or got stuck. But there we go. And now we've got a building inside of this anomaly. This is a first for me. I have tried this myself. I couldn't pull it off. So hats off to the guy for managing this. But yeah, here we go. I can harvest all plants that are in here, which is quite nice. I did that in one foul swoop. For whatever reason, though, it only gave me the Gravitino balls. Well, that's... What's that all about? That's strange, isn't it? Oh, infantry's full, that's why. Well, thank you very much for your uh, for your harvest. But let's uh, head on out through here again. And let's have a quick look below this base. Let's see if there's any more to the base. However, that is pretty awesome. Oh, it's got a teleporter. Let's see where that takes us. It takes us down to the lower deck. And it brings us down to the surface. Where, yeah, we've got ourselves a nice little platform here for an exocraft. That's a good choice of exocraft for this planet. Love the jubbly. And look at this. We've got all these harvesters going on over here. What have you got for us? 5,000 copper. Heck yes. We're going to have that if it will allow. There we go. Boom. Thank you. Copper's always handy to have because you can refine that into uh, chromatic metal. So there we go. Now there we go, Kevlar Twinkie, you sir are freaking awesome. You're going to get yourself a um, air grab. Sorry if you're not a sir and you're a lady, but there you go. That's for you. Thank you for sharing and thank you for building this in the NMSA hub. Uh, yeah, so you guys out there for watching, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you all next time. What's awesome base is this, this, uh, this episode? Thank you guys. Cheerio for now. Goodbye all. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I'd like to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreon backers. Thanking you. And all those that back me on YouTube membership, thanking you! And if you want to grab yourself a fine and dandy pair of socks or a mug or a t-shirt, I have merch! Check that out! Or just hit something on this screen and stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer. Thank you!